Yo, yo, so we are looking at the Portapak H2. Uh, we're going to be going over the audio features of this outside because I have a few antennas I'm going to be using that I need length and space. Um, so what you're going to be hearing though is going to be off of the back magnetized DGA mic um, going into the audio headphone portion to the camera. Hopefully there's no static, but you might hear a little bit of buzz. I want to try to fix that in post, but we'll find out. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this antenna off and I'm going to grab an NFIT half wave running across the yard. And then we're going to go to the FX4CR HF transceiver and see if we can get uh, 10 meter and maybe, uh, maybe 20 meter. So you get to see me run across the yard and drop off this NFIT half wave. Chicka, 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 chicka. Yo, yo. So this video is kind of past overdue. I wanted to have this video out last Wednesday. However, um, I recorded it and then my playback was really bad because the lighting was really bad and I forgot to adjust my f-stop and my filter on my camera so everything turned out really really dark uh today we are going over the audio rx function of the porter pack h2 hack rf1 so let's dive into it to get to your audio portion we're gonna go down to receive let's just go straight into audio the audio function on the rx side of the porter pack h2 uh, is very similar to the scanner function. However, it's more fine-tuned. Uh, you're not just scanning through frequency after frequency. Um, you can actually just go to your frequency here, punch in the number if you know it, or you can load a frequency if you want. So if you wanted to say load um, some CB band, you can do that. If you're in Japan, you get your Japan FM bands. Um, and then these are under your Freakman files area. You got FRS, you got GMRS, two meter, 70 centimeter, and ISM, and yada, yada, yada. So anything that is stored under your Freakman area, that is where it's going to be. Pretty straightforward. Here is your uh, modulation setting. So you have your um, narrow uh, FM, you have your wide, your spectrum analyzer, for instance, is gonna be right here. Um, so if you do have an area where you can receive uh, like a signal, you can then punch in that signal and then view it if you wanted to do such things. Uh, adjusting your LNA kind of brings out that frequency spectrum more. There you go. And you can see that we got some kind of green going on here. So let's dial that in. So if you scroll down to your little red dot there, so you're just going to scroll down and then you can move that little red dot over that frequency where you're getting that ping at, hit that center button, and then you are now over that area. So if you don't believe me, you can just kind of shift through it and then you can see that we are moving over and then we're back on it. And if you want to hear it, let's see what's going on there. So we're going to start with uh, the AM modulation. We're going to go ahead and crank our volume back up to where we can hear that. Nothing under AM. There's your NFM. Something's breaking, but nothing's happening. So nothing there. Um, so if you're wondering what these numbers that are pinging up over here, this T and then um, that M and then that other area. So if you're wondering what that uh, pinging area over, over there is, that is pretty much your CTTS tone. Um, that is where if you had a offset or you had a tone marker, for instance, for a repeater, that's where that tone is gonna be coming in through. And then you can see it. Um, so let's just kind of scroll through another area here. We're going to go ahead and go to load two meter band and go down to that little red dot and maybe we can find something. And if we don't get anything, well, luckily I've been playing with this enough out of my house uh, on uh, VHF, UHF and also with the CB antenna. And I have some recordings of uh, things that I've been able to pick up and uh, listen to. So I will overlay those as well. That way you can kind of see that this actually does work with UHF, VHF, uh, your CB bands, and surprisingly uh, enough with HF. So um, since I know that HF is currently on because it's the evening, let's go ahead and power on this. So we know that this frequency 7.2.1 is working really well. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug my radio, turn the volume down, that's volume. All right, so let's see if we can get that going on the porter pack. We're gonna go ahead and go with the NFED halfway that is going through the window and let's punch in that frequency. 
and go back, back, back. Go seven point two one zero, not seven point two point one. Seven point two one zero. All right, that's quite an upper volume. Oh, we can barely hear some stuff coming through. Let's change our modulation, okay? There we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to double sideband. That CW, we're not in CW mode. Lower sideband at your 3K. Mm, a little bit. Mm. Let's see if we can dial that in some. If not, we could always go up here and kind of adjust. And then we can adjust our VNA. Or sorry, our LNA. LNA is always first. And then the VNA. So you can kind of see a visualization of what's happening when you actually adjust your LNA and VNA. That kind of helps you understand like what's happening on the, on the bandwidth. Um, so you're kind of taking away all that um, that gain, all that noise, and then you're slowly adding it in. So you're getting a kind of readable signal. Maybe our band shifted. We're not hearing anything. So let's go back over here. And let's go to our frequency. And kind of. There we go. And we can kind of hear a little bit what's happening. Let's scroll through some more there we go nice and clear all right so all we had to do is go to am up there adjust our bandwidth and then re-scroll to our frequency and just kind of fine-tune it that's kind of you have to play with this stuff is you kind of have to just dial this in slowly um it, it's it's not just a set it forget it type thing especially on the, on the hf band it fluctuates so much time of day propagation yada 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 we discussed that kind of uh briefly uh in other videos um again i'm you're an end fit halfway which is uh i forgot the length of the antenna it's it's i mean it's across the bed out the window onto my trampoline or my kids trampoline set um so it's it's roughly like a 40 foot antenna um i'll again i'll overlay the cv band area um, with the uh, cheap 27 uh, megahertz uh, CV band antenna we got from AliExpress that we showed in the antenna video. You might be able to get some stuff with the telly. Um, who knows, right? I, I, I haven't yet, but, you know, your area may be different than mine, right? And then, of course, UHF, VHF, the good old signal stuff, signal stick. Um, so that's the basics of the audio RX portion. It's more than like, it's just, it's just fine tuning those frequencies of what you really want to listen to. The cool thing is I just use the waterfall here to pass my general exam for my uh, ham radio license I just got uh, recently. And and how I did that is there's a section on the ham radio general uh, class area that goes over pretty much what a waterfall is and, and how, to, how to like kind of use it. And you're... Vertical is your time. That's your time, right? So if there was a sequence of like one, two, three, four, five, we're looking at this in a time. Then you have your your width is 20k uh, to 20k across, right? Um, that's what this is showing. There's different ver versions of a waterfall effect, and you can kind of make this wider and lower again. That's going back into your bandwidth, right? So very uh, WFM, kind of that wide. You're looking 100k to 100k. Your spectrum is five meter to five meter, and then your AM, right? So you're just kind of dialing that in. And then of course, if you're gonna be adjusting these, it's gonna be changing, right? The WFM, right? Um, and then again, if you do wanna record, you can record. Uh, I do have some stuff that I was able to record. And so to get to your player, to play back what you recorded, we're gonna to go to utilities. We're gonna go down here to wave view. And then we're gonna to go to open, okay? And your captures are saved under audio. Audio, how about this guy? Scroll down, let's go ahead and drop down our volume some more and play. So this was recorded a few days ago. Um, 2024, uh, 02, so February 22nd. So that, that's your file name and then, and then the time. Um, so that's kind of the clarity that you're going to be hearing out of the headphone jack, at least. Um, uh, you can see it's time down there in the bottom. Um, and what else you got? The sample rate. Yeah, this guy's eating food. Uh, Record in 16-bit mono at uh, 1200 hertz, and duration was 195 seconds. That kind of shows you quickly of how to get to your 
again, to your capture. So that's in a way view, right? Hopefully that helps you kind of understand a brief summary of what the audio RX portion does. And again, going back to last week's antenna video, it's all gonna be determined on the antenna that you're using and the frequency that you wanna hear. So keep that in mind when you're doing um, any kind of receiving, regardless of it's audio, um, whatever it is, you have to have the appropriate antenna to have the best reception or transmission. Um, I did have a guy reach out and he asked if there was an antenna that is kind of a jack of all trades for transmitting. Unfortunately, I haven't found one um, that does well across the entire spectrum for transmitting. Uh, the telescopic is kind of your semi best choice, but at the same time, it's really poor at what it does. Um, receiving, it's it's a little bit more different because you can receive a lot with a telly, right? Um, if you have a disc cone that we discussed, uh, you can receive a lot, but again, you can't transmit. If you want to transmit, you have to get the appropriate hand the appropriate antenna to transmit. So keep that in mind. If you have any questions, reach out. I appreciate you guys. Um, you guys are awesome. Thanks for all the comments, likes, and subscribes. Uh, keep it up. You guys are amazing. And I will have another video out here in a few days, hopefully going over Bluetooth RX. Um, and then we're just going to keep moving down the list like we've been doing for the past few weeks now. Um, again, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, hope all is well. Take care. And I will see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, and do all the fun stuff.